Hey, hey, welcome to Dre's Take. So each week I drop in to give you a little unique insight into some relevant happening in the real estate market and how it pertains to Central Florida where we all live and work and play. I wanna thank you for checking it out each week and hopefully it's brought some value to you and some deeper insight into what's going on in the housing market. Uh, thanks for sticking around. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. This week, interest rates have declined for the fifth straight week in a row. As a result, builder sentiment is up for the fourth consecutive month and single family new home starts are up 2.7%. National Association of Home Builders Chairman Alicia Huey says this indicates a turning point for single family construction. As labor and materials cost plagued the industry, coupled with high interest rates, made the cost to build homes and therefore the subsequent pricing of homes unaffordable for many buyers, the builders pulled back and put their focus on multifamily development for a while. But now with interest rates declining for five straight weeks and the anticipation that they'll fall below six at some point over the next handful of months, builder optimism is up in the single family space and away from multifamily. This is evidenced by single family new home starts being up 2.7%. This is important because these builders have far more data than you or I have. And so when they're making these plans to buy tracts of land and develop projects, they are crunching the numbers to look out six, 12 or 24 months in advance to make sure that they're making a good decision. So we can look at what their plans are and really get a good idea of where they think things may be 12, 18, 24 months or so from now. And that kind of saves us the legwork. The quickest way to get smart is to talk to smart people. And we're talking about builders that are doing tens of thousands of builds each year. These guys aren't making just willy nilly decisions. They know what they're doing. That's very helpful to us. This indicates that they anticipate that the single family housing market has a positive outlook or else they wouldn't be engaging in new starts. They would just continue building out apartment complexes or making their money elsewhere. Mostly what they've noted as to why they're moving back into the single family space is they see the writing on the wall with existing home inventory. There's just not enough inventory. There's another article here that came out recently that said one third of all inventory is new construction now. That's crazy. Historically, it's been just around 10, slightly above 10% of inventory was new construction. One third is 33% or so. It's a huge increase. And so as long as that demand exists and there's limited supply, there's going to be money to be made. They just needed to get the cost of building down to make sure there was room to make profit. And with interest rates stabilizing, they believe they have the room to go ahead and push forward in the single family space. Now, I happen to be a certified new home co-broker. If new construction is a route that you or somebody you know may want to take, I can help with that. And fortunately or unfortunately, I've had enough experiences with many builders, uh, both bad and good, to help direct you toward a quality builder in the area you want to be in, if that's something you need. They usually come with great incentives, paying your closing costs, 10-year structural warranties, etc. So it's not a bad option at all. As always, we're going to keep an eye on the situation here, and we'll be back weekly with more updates to let you know what's going on. Thanks for stopping in. That's Dre's take. Take care.